Objection. Bring one bucket, one. One bunch. Back in action and more powerful than ever. Dump beam. Oh, yeah. Over the last two years, they've been busy upgrading the world's biggest particle accelerator deep under the Swiss-French border. On Sunday, scientists fired two particle beams round the 27-kilometre-long circuit known as the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC. But these are just baby steps for researchers here at CERN, the European Organisation for Nuclear Research. It will take us about two months, say six weeks or two months, to actually establish the first stable collisions for the experiments because okay. we have to commission all the instruments, all the systems, one by one. In 2012, CERN announced an unexpected breakthrough. I think it's a great day for particle physics. Scientists finally discovered the Higgs boson, an elementary particle that gives mass to other particles, earning it the nickname the God particle. The following year, two of the scientists behind the theory, Peter Higgs on the right here and François Angler, got the Nobel Prize in Physics. Without the Higgs field, uh, there would uh, be... Uh, no atoms, there would be no nuclei, there would be no molecules, uh, which are the fundamental building blocks of, of all matter, and therefore there would also be uh, no stars, there would be no galaxies, there would be no planetary system, there would be no Earth, and eventually there would be no life on Earth. The LHC contains a ring of superconducting magnets with accelerating structures which boost particles as they hurtle down the tunnel. Soon they'll be travelling at almost the speed of light, and analysing their collisions could reveal new scientific secrets. Eventually they'll be looking at areas like dark matter. That's the invisible matter which makes up 84% of the known universe, but can only be detected by its influence on visible matter like galaxies and planets. But there could be many more discoveries over the lifetime of this underground science city. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera.